Let's look at what is happening in the U.S. A 63-year-old man has been identified as a prime suspect of the Nashville blast, the one that took place on Christmas Day. The man quit his job before the explosion, gifted his car to his ex-girlfriend, gave his house to another woman for free. And what he then orchestrated was straight out of a crime thriller. Here's a report. The RV started making an announcement. Somewhere along the lines, don't quote me exactly, but it's, there's a large bomb within this vehicle. The Nashville blast was straight out of a crime thriller. Then the music stopped, and as I'm walking back toward Toppy now, I just see orange, and then I hear a loud boom. And uh, as I'm stumbling, because uh, it, it rocked me that hard, I started stumbling. And that kind of just like put my heart up in my throat. And um, officers fought back tears as they tried to explain the moments leading up to the explosion. It was Christmas morning at America's country music capital. There was a crackle of gunfire just before dawn. A recreational vehicle was parked in downtown Nashville. A computer-generated voice from the RV started reciting a minute-by-minute -minute countdown to an impending blast. The speaker played Downtown by Petula Clark. When the music stopped, there was thunder. The blast was caught on a surveillance camera of a city hostel. Three people were injured, at least 40 businesses damaged. The explosion also affected mobile, internet and TV services across Tennessee and four other states. Authorities say 63-year-old Anthony Warner had planned it all. He was killed in the blast. Based this conclusion on forensic evidence, including DNA evidence that you'll hear about, as well as evidence that was gathered at the scene of the bombing. Reports say Warner was a long-time Nashvillian. He held several IT jobs throughout his life and resigned from one just this month. Warner gave his car to his ex-girlfriend and told her he had cancer. The 63-year-old also signed away his home and only kept his motor home. Warner was inside the RV when it exploded. Reports say the man had extensive experience with electronics and alarm systems. The question is, what was his motive? I know that there have been associates of Warner that have been questioned about a, a 5G paranoia that he may have had. What can you tell us about that? So right now we're looking at any and all possible motives. We're not at a position where we can speculate on that now. We are interviewing individuals that we've identified that are known to the suspect. FBI agents have investigated over 500 tips. Warner's home too has been searched. The plot took a twist two days after the blast when a box truck parked in Wilson County, Tennessee started playing an audio similar to what was heard in Nashville. The truck's location was barely 30 miles from the blast site. The case is being investigated. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.